again. Hello, Dimitri. It's Wingy. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Hello. What do you think is the most dangerous thing about Craig Spider Richards that you have seen in his style? Uh, he, I know he has a he has a good speed. He moves a lot, and um, he has a good boxing IQ. Uh, when you have a good boxing IQ, you can create something in in the fight, in the middle of fight, of the fight, and that's what I think. Uh, what I'm think about him like that. And you once said in an interview that money is not your goal. What do you fight for if it's not money? Uh, of course, my of course money one of uh, of the goal. But I I like money like everyone. But it's yeah. not the uh, main thing for me. Uh, first of all, I wanna realize my potential. Uh, uh, I want to show my skills for boxing fans uh, from the all of world, uh, and uh, I need to get four belts. One of my goal, uh, I need to be undisputed champion. Great. Thank you for taking the questions. Thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. Thank you, Wingy. Here we go to Ames from Boxing News TV next, please. Ames here for Boxing News TV. Pleasure to meet you, Dimitri. How are you? Yeah. Hello. I'm good. Thank you. Good. Good to hear. Uh, Dimitri, I want to ask you, Canelo made his way up to light heavyweight, beat Kovalev, uh, but he seemed to settle now to campaign at super middle. Do you, have to go, uh, do you have to go down to super middle to get that fight? And are you willing to do so to get a fight with Canelo? Um. You know, I I'm, don't think about Canelo. He has the own uh, way. I in the super middleweight. I have my own way uh, in light heavyweight. Uh, I think about uh, another champion in light heavyweight division. But uh, second, uh, I want to fight against guys who has a big name. Canelo has a most of. Uh, Can Canelo is main uh, name in boxing, and uh, I would like fight him. Yes, if he won, but it's not my goal to um, to fight Canelo. And can I get your opinion on a uh, potential entry of? And Can doesn't matter. Do doesn't. Go on. And doesn't matter which weight uh, class, uh, uh, super middleweight or light heavyweight. Because I can make a super middleweight. Can I get your opinion on the potential entry of a former Canelo opponent, Callum Smith, who might make his way to light heavyweight? That's the way. Uh, that's the whispers going around that Callum Smith will move up to light heavyweight. Do you think he would fare well in that division? Uh, uh. Uh, I think uh, Callum Smith can fight uh, light, in light heavyweight because he's tall uh, and he has enough power and he is a champion uh, in a super middleweight. He was the champion. Why not? Why not? Thank you, Dimitri. Yeah. Okay, we go to Brett Redmond for two questions, please. Hi, Dimitri. How are you doing? Yeah, hello. I'm good. Thank you. Thanks very much. Going into this fight on Saturday, you're, uh, and by the bookies' favourite and by lots of other people, the outright favourite. Did you feel any added pressure going into that? Uh, uh, I, I feel every time uh, pressure. Uh, This time, uh, not uh, more than uh, before. I'm the champion and I have to win, uh, I think. And uh, that's my pressure, not more. And 
the next question is I'm not too sure whether you've seen much of the uh, criticism that's gone on with British scoring at the moment. Is there any concerns with taking on a British fighter and if it goes the distance that you have to, re that it could potentially mean reliant on the judges? Um, I don't think about it. Uh, I just have to uh, make my world, my work. And if I do it, uh, I win. And uh, uh, usually I think I have to do it clean and uh, no doubts. No doubts. Dimitri, thanks very much and good luck for Saturday. Thank you. Thanks, Brett. If we go to James Lockton next, please. Hi, Dimitri. You mentioned that you want to realise your potential. Apart from unifying titles, do you feel there's anything else you need to do to be able to realise your potential? Uh, Yes, of course. Uh, uh, I have to uh, get more uh, big fights uh, to realize my, my potential. I have to um, fight against uh, guys who can open my uh, potential. Uh, it, it's hard fight. And uh, if you have a... a a lot of uh, hard fights uh, with against big name. You you be you be remembered uh, in uh, in the boxing. This is uh, one of my goal too, and it uh, can help me realize my potential. And Craig Richards, he has never fought at a world level. Does that make him, or is he a dangerous fight for you, as you mentioned, or? Is there potential that you could overlook any dangers he possesses? Uh, I respect every my opponent, uh, and I know this is boxing, and you have uh, respect your opponent uh, because uh, every everything could happen in fight, and you have. Uh, to prepare serious to, to prepare to preparing serious and be focused in the fight uh, and now i'm in fo i'm focused and i think about only may 1st uh, only about uh, this fight and uh, he's not easy fighter yes he 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 doesn't have a good uh, a position like me, but uh, he deserves to fight me, to fight against me. He's the champion of Britain, and uh, I have to be focused. Thank you, Dimitri. Thank you, Adam. Okay, we've got time for final questions. So, if we go to Steve from Boxing UK, if you want to get your last two in, please, mate. Hi, Dimitri. It's Steve from Boxing UK. Hi. Hi. It's been a little while since you've had a knockout. Will you be looking for a knockout this weekend? Uh, to be honest, uh, I every fight I'm looking for knockout. Uh, I hope if I see I could stop fight early, I I will do it. And if you do get through this, if you could choose your next opponent, who would you pick? Uh, don't think about uh, next opponent. I have to f win uh, May 1st. But uh, I need uh, more belts. I want to okay. fight against the guy who has a belt. Okay, good luck at the weekend. Yeah. Okay, Dimitri Vadim, really appreciate your time. That's your section finished there. Um, we'll see you in the bubble later this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.